in your own man voice. <laughs> yeah. A one two, a one two. For one two, for one two. For one two, for one two. For one two, for one two. Like the picture's messing up on the screen or something. Don't worry about that. It's just the the recording. I'll, I'll try to fix that later. So. All right, Wait. Or should I start in like this? Should I be like? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How you guys doing? This is Chris from Lit Critics, and uh, look who I have with me. Yeah. The Ice Man 289 back at you. And uh, we're here for round two of Q and A, new series on my channel. Uh, I'm getting a lot of good feedback from it, so uh, we're gonna keep on rolling, right? We are. We sure are. All right. So uh, this time I'm gonna read the questions. He's gonna answer, and uh, then I'll answer them. If they're not for me, then I'm not gonna answer them. So uh, I guess we'll jump right in on this. Uh, All right, let's go. Northern snaps asks, "What do you like better, shark tooth or paint splash snapback?" Um, personally. I think they both look cool, but I actually like the the paint the paint paint splash ones better. Um, out of both of them, if I had to pick, I'd go with the, uh, the paint splash. Yeah, I, I would agree on that one. I'm not too. I don't really like the shark tooth. It's... I like the shark tooth. It's just I like the paint splash more, you know. So yeah, depends on you know, and it also depends on the colorway too, you know. Like oh, yeah. if the shark tooth looks sick, like if it pops, like the colors pop. You know, and I, I like the shark tooths with uh, the black behind them, not just the white. So like a white, a white, uh, like a black top. Yeah, like the black base with the like the colored, um, the stitching on them. Yeah, so. I know what you're saying. Uh, that one Mexican kid asked, "What artist are you into right now?" If I had to pick my favorite artist that I could listen to or band that I could listen to any time, any mood, any place, that they always have good music, it'd be Switchfoot. My artist goes. It, to me, it's it's how this this music sounds. So, um, I've always I've been with, listening to Switchfoot since I was like in third grade. So, I would have to agree like on the mood thing, but um, I think the artist I've been getting into lately is Cody Allen. He just dropped his All American remix or his All American type, and it's really good. So I really like that. But other than that, I've, I've been listening to Mac Miller for a couple years now. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Yeah, it's. I'm just gonna read the question. Um, Iceman, are you going to college? Yes, I plan on going to North Central University in the fall of 2012 here in a couple months. Shout out to Anthony, Ryan, and Giles, 542 West. Call me crazy, but I still have the bracelet on. Yeah, love you guys. A412 asks... What's the best crew neck or jacket you picked up? Um, the best jacket I've picked up would, oh my goodness, man, that's hard because, I mean, I have three satin starter jackets, and I have some crazy starter pullovers and windbreakers and stuff. Um, I'd say the most rarest crazy one I have right now, I do have a Mighty Ducks mint Mighty Ducks starter. If uh, you follow me on Instagram, Insta G, I just put that up last night and showed a picture of it. Craziest crew neck I've found. Man. Um, I got this polo sport one that I really like. It's striped. It's got like red and blue and yellow stripes on it. I don't know. I haven't really found much, but I found the that crew neck I was wearing last video the it was, I found a brand new New York New York Rangers crew neck yeah that one I think that was my best crew yeah, neck I think I've up. seen that one that one's pretty sick I haven't found any jackets lately I, I think it's just because the summer's rolling around yeah but uh I haven't been in the thrift in like a month or two so I think that or uh, San Jose vintage sharks crew neck I found a while ago in my old pickups yeah anything sharks is good I rock snaps asks, what do you guys think about the vintage Mighty Duck snapback hype? The hype of it? Well, I think I posted uh, something on my um, my Facebook page, and don't get me wrong, I think the Mighty Duck stuff is absolutely sick, and uh, I'll, I'll wear it. I don't think I'd stop wearing it because of the hype. I mean, I was this close from just stopping to wear all my Mighty Duck stuff because everyone was just blowing up about it. 
Um, but it is really, you know, cool stuff because it's rare, you know. As far as the height goes, I don't know. Um, that's like the only hat. That okay, that's that's what I will say. That's what I will say. I don't mind if people wear Mighty Ducks, I'll wear Mighty Ducks, I don't really care if you wear Mighty Ducks, I think it's cool. But the thing that that annoys the crap out of me, um, is when like people that's like some people just like that's the only hat they wanna get and they don't care about anything else, like that's their grail and you guys have got to realize there are plenty of other rare hats out there i mean there's shark tooths you know that are just way rarer than any mighty ducks hat you can find so i mean mighty ducks stuff is not the best stuff out there you know but it is pretty cool you know so yeah i would i would kind of agree with you but like i remember watching mighty ducks when i was growing up yeah you know? no, and then, i agree and then, the, and then it just disappeared for a while and then all of a sudden it just came back up yes. you know the nostalgic I reasons, nowhere. I could definitely see, definitely, for like, you know, the nostalgic reasons of childhood memories and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know, there's there's plenty of other rare, more rare hats out there than any Mighty Duck stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, Mighty Duck stuff is, is rare, but there's probably more hats out there that are other, you know, rare hats than just the Mighty Duck stuff. Yeah, I just think uh, people aren't, like, looking hard enough. They're just, like, focused on one, one team that they want. Exactly, yeah. I agree. I very much agree. Nate Jax, 15, asked, what are you guys' favorite sneaker brand? Favorite sneaker brand, um, Vans, because I've been wearing them since second grade. Yeah, I just like Vans because I've been wearing them for a long time. Um, you know, they go with a lot of different things. They have a lot of different color options. They're a basic shoe that you can, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. So, yeah, I, I like Vans just because... You know, you can rock them with a lot of different stuff. But. I have two. I don't have one. Like, Vans, what you were saying, you can wear them with, like, dress clothes or anything. Yeah. They yeah. go with anything. Yeah. They're comfortable. And uh, Nikes, I wear all the time. I've been skating Nikes for, like, four years now. Yeah. So, Nikes aren't like, bad. The Nike SBs, Nike SBs and 6.0s, those are pretty comfortable shoes, I think. I think my favorite all-time shoe brand would be the Nike SB, the, um, the Trays. Yeah. They, they came out oh, a couple years ago. I bought a pair. And they're like my favorite all time shoe. Marker Iza, I think that's how you say your yeah. name. How often do you guys go to the thrift per week slash month? Well, I don't know how many times a month, but per week I go, uh, on a good week, I go probably four to five days out of the week. And on a bad one or two. So. That's about, you know, I try to go as much as possible, basically. When I have time, when I'm not busy, you know, I go. So, whenever I have free time, hop over to the Thrift. Or if you have money. Stuff. <laughs> what? Or when you have money. Oh. Yeah. Snipe all the good stuff. Shout out to uh, Jesse from Amazon Frank. He said that I sniped all the good stuff. He sni I snipe all the good stuff, so. Shout out to Amazon Frank. I would have to agree with him. <laughs> Dude, I only go, like, I used to go, like, every Sunday. Cause that's when all the stores restocked around here, but I haven't been going lately. Yeah, yeah, that that is one thing is um, it's kind of hard because the thrift stores I go to they 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 stock just not like on a constant basis, just whenever they get stuff in. So you have to go a lot if you want to find stuff because there could always be something popping up. You could go one day find nothing, and the next day you can go and you could find like a starter jacket and like five new snapbacks. You know what I mean? So. You, I just go as much as possible because you never know what you can find. So. The Goofy Goober A S. Uh, take off your hat and show us what you look like without a hat. Me? Yeah. Okay, well, see, I just put a beanie on, so it's gonna look bad. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you just ask that. You don't want to see me with the beanie off because a beanie hair. Beanie hair is worse than hat hair. I don't know. Okay, how about this? This I'll, I'll, I'll do this. If this video gets, if this video gets, uh, if this video gets 30, no, if this video gets 40 likes, I will take my hat off, I'll wear a beanie this time, and I'll take my beanie off, and you guys can see my wild hair. There we go. <laughs> likes and likes. I do that next video. Yeah. Alright, well, um, that was the last question that he asked. Alright. So, I mean, this is probably a shorter shorter episode but you know we don't want to sit here for half hour doing this no 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 yeah but definitely guys comment below your questions um ask me anything you know i mean like 
not anything, but you can ask me some crazy stuff if you want. Um, ask me opinions. Ask Chris his opinions. What he likes, what he doesn't like, what his opinions are. I want to make it just the Iceman series. Exactly. Pick both of our brains. Pick our brains. So, hope you guys liked it. And he's going to chow down on some Doritos. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for episode 3. This has been Lee Critics. Proof <laughs> <laughs>